Welcome back to Speaking Life. I'm here with Jody. Jody, how you doing today? I'm all right. Okay, what is your age? 58. Are you from Tucson? No, I'm from Idaho. Idaho? How long you been in Tucson? Uh, a little over maybe seven months. And what brought you to Tucson? I was here before, and um, my health. I came here because it was too cold. I was living in Missouri with my kids. And uh, I, I, I came back here because uh, I couldn't take the cold. It's really cold over there? Oh, ice rain, everything's ice, it's so cold. Is that like most of the year? Um, no, no, the, the, the summers are pretty hot, but... Not like here, huh? Uh, no. And how do you like this heat? Um, I'm, I'm bearing it. <laughs> it's kicking my butt. All right. Are you are you planning to go back to to your uh, home? No. Have you ever been married? Yes, I've been married. Okay, how long were you married? Um, the first time, not very long, but the second time I was married for 13 years, and he died of colon cancer. Okay. And uh, you say you've been married more than once? Yeah, three times. Okay. How many kids do you have? I have five. Three they're girls. Back, they're back in Missouri. Um, the two boys are in Missouri, and two girls are in Omaha, and one is in Idaho. Okay. And do you keep in contact with them? No, I've blocked them all at this point. Why is that? Um, well, the three, uh, my two boys and my oldest daughter are on fentanyl and uh, heroin, and they've robbed me <laughs> of everything I own. And, Pretty much held me hostage for almost four years. And they would just take all my money and. This was in Missouri. Yeah. So when's the last time you talked to them? Seven months ago. My son stole my U-Haul. I'm on, on my way up here. And uh, he left me stranded in uh, Phillipsburg, Kansas. And a church had bought me a bus ticket. To here and uh, they stole everything I own. And how old is your oldest child? Forty-one. And the youngest? Uh, Twenty-four. Okay. Yeah. Now, uh, do you use any substances? Yeah. You want to speak on that? Well, I use. Uh, uh, well, I, I didn't realize that blues existed. Uh huh until I got here and then I was introduced to them and I, I started smoking those and uh, I was kind of used to smoking just meth and I don't shoot up because I can't I don't have no bank. Shoot up what meth or heroin? Heroin. So you've used heroin before? Oh yeah, yeah. Is that pretty hard to find now? I haven't really tried finding it because Blues has pretty much took it its place. Right. Have you ever been close to overdosing? Oh yeah. Oh yeah, I've, I've um, well in Missouri, in, with the heroin and the fentanyl, I've been narconed uh, at least three times. And brought back. So by the grace of God, oh, you're still here. Yeah. Do you still use the meth? Yeah, I do. When I when I can't find the other, it helps uh, with the pain, you know, the Jones end of it. Do you ever use meth and the blues together? Yes, I do. Okay. Yeah. And how, how many times a day would you say you use the the blues? At least three times a day. I'm I'm just barely getting turned on to them. Mhm. Mm so the high lasts pretty pretty long for you. Yeah, a lot. Yeah. That's a lot for me. Three is a lot for me. Now, I know other people that use, um, do about 10 to 16 pills a day, but I just got started on them. And what is the price of the least expensive uh, blue that you could purchase? Three dollars. And those are pretty easy to come by? Pretty easy, yeah. Yeah, that, if you, if you, if you, a lot of times it's that uh, somebody knows somebody. Uh-huh. And how long does that high last? 
Well, if you don't stop, it don't go, you, you don't lose the high. But if you right. do stop, um, would you say it lasts probably, a couple hours? No, no, probably not a couple hours, probably about 35, 40 minutes early. Sometimes it and, doesn't last very long. And the withdrawals kick in pretty fast. Well, it's in um, overnight. Yeah, they do. And how are those? You get you get pretty sick. I think the the withdrawals worse worse than the high. And uh, all worse. you want, all you want to do is get the next blue, so you can. Uh, yeah, you want to get well. Get well. Huh? Okay. Now, have you ever been to rehab? Oh, um, actually, I was in AA for eight and a half years straight so, and then uh, I lost so much you know I lost all my family my kids have turned on me and uh, and it all has to do with drugs so I I haven't had a reason to go to rehab I just I've lost all my reasons <laughs> do you still drink I drink a little bit but I've lost my alcoholism I died of uh, alcohol poisoning, and uh, in the process of that, I just, I lost, I don't crave alcohol anymore. Okay. So you have no desire to get clean? You said you have no reason for, for Not that? Really. <laughs> no, really, I don't have no family, I don't, my kids don't talk to me, I'm alone. So do you stay on the streets? Yeah. And how long you been on the streets? Um, well, the, the full seven months I've been on the streets, it's frightening. Um, I'm sick of it. I would do almost anything to make my life different, but I don't know how. I don't know where to go. I don't know anybody. I just don't know how. I, I'm, I'm overwhelmed, I guess. I don't even know which way to go or what to do. I'm waiting for housing. I can't afford um, housing without help. So what kind of advice can you give anyone that uh, wants to experiment with meth or the blues? Or don't throw yourself away. Don't let don't let no drug define you. Just it's not even worth it. Everything that counts in your world goes away. And then you're just like me in the dirt. It's, it's horrible. Can you say that uh, you've lost everything due to drugs? Yeah. Me using, my family using, yes. All right. Where, where can you see yourself six months to a year from now? I'm hoping in a nice, clean apartment. You know, just doing the. I'm hoping to be just off the streets. Off the streets, but what about using? You know, I have. I'm going to be honest, I don't know. You don't know? If life, you know, sometimes life hurts so bad, that's all you got, you know? Right. Makes you feel better, at least for a minute, you know? All right, now, do, uh, do you ever pray? Yes, I pray. I pray. I even have a tattoo that says pray. <laughs> It says pray. Yeah. Just to remind me to pray. I'm hoping it gets better. I would quit using it to make it better. All right. Now, are you okay with me posting this on YouTube? Absolutely. All right. Now, Jody, is it all right if I pray for you? Yeah. Heavenly Father, we lift up Jody to you in prayer right now, Father God. We ask you to break the strongholds of addiction, of confusion, of doubt, of hopelessness, Father God. 
we give it to you, Lord. We put it in your hands and we ask you to deal with it, Father God. We know that, that you are able because you are mighty, Father God. We bind up and rebuke anything that is not of you, Father God. We know that uh, she is your child, Lord, and that she matters. Let her know that she is loved by you. If she takes one step towards you, Father God, you are there with open arms. Set her free from the enemy. We give you the praise, honor, and the glory in Jesus' name.